Okay, welcome back. Welcome back to Also Cognitive Easy Volume Two, the practical sessions. These are practical video sessions are proudly sponsored and supported by Computer Made Easy Limited. They are a computer learning center where you can easily learn, learn, have the skill, and also have the certification. They teach a variety of computer programs from AutoCAD, SolidWorks, Microsoft Excel, uh, PoE, as many as you want. You can always contact them with the contact that we show at the end of this video. Thank you once again to Computer Made TV, and uh, you're welcome. I am your usual instructor, engineer DBC AC, and uh, let's get right into business. Okay, so I'm back to my AutoCAD interface now, and we want to jump right into drawing. So today, we want to begin our autographic drawing class, and this is our practical four for AutoCAD Made TV Volume 2. To draw isometric drawing, to draw autographic drawing rather, there are a few concepts we must learn before we proceed. One of which is there are two basic projections that we use in our isometric, in our autographic drawing. There is the fourth angle projection and the third angle projection. So which one of the two do you use? It depends basic majorly on your institution and if you are drawing in a particular country it depends on your country and which one is more acceptable but for this video we shall be drawing using the first angle projection so what shall we be drawing the first angle projection of we'll be starting from the most basic object which is a a box or we can call it a cube cube a cube has all types equal and we shall be drawing orthographic projection of it to draw an orthographic projection, a uh, basic thing we will have to keep in mind, which is the orthographic axis. So I'll be using line two to draw my orthographic axis. My orthographic axis is, of course, I'll be using auto mode. So one. Here is my orthographic axis. Then the next thing I will do is to offset this two lines so as to form the base and sides of what I'm about to draw. As you begin to see now you you, you notice that the axis I've just drawn has divided my drawing space into four quadrants. Quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. In my quadrant one will be my four Front elevation, and that is why we are drawing. And that is why it is called fourth angle projection because your front elevation is in the quadrant one. So here is my front front, and for this front, what am I drawing? There's a vertical line. There's a line parallel to the axis. All vertical line will remain vertical. All lines that are parallel to the axis, 30 degrees axis will appear as horizontal line on our orthographic drawing. So I'll pick line. I want to start from this this point. Then I go up, 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 up. So I'm starting here now. The length of the the side of the cube is forty mm round. So forty up forty. 40 now now 40 40 and what remains is the text here the A which I'll go right to later on then to draw my side view, as well notice that the side view flows right into the front view. The height of the front side of the front view is the height of the side view. So I can bring up a construction line to transfer this measurement, which is what I will do now. So I want to transfer the measurement here to this. 
then now let me draw my side view of line line two i'll be starting from this point we already know here is 40 we already transferred the measurement here we know it's 42 even up is 40 okay so now what is left is my top view top view of plan you have as well notice that the length of the the length or let's say the breadth of this side view is the height of the plan so we can transfer the measurement here right through the fourth quadrant to this place how do we do that i'll be using a theta line to do that which i'll be drawing here the theta line is a 45 degrees line which we transfer all horizontal measurements into vertical measurements. How do I do that? Let me jump right back to my construction line. Then line two line. So I'll let me switch off my auto mode. So, okay. Then down 45 degrees. So to transfer this measurement, all I need to do is I'll bring this line right to the 45 degrees line. And when they hit the 45 degrees line, I will transfer it to the third quadrant. I will repeat that for all the outline, all the edges right to the 45 degrees line you know, I want my auto mode on now right to the 45 degrees line, come on let me take a zoom at it As well, you can draw it straight down. Can you trim it up? And put a line right there. And what you choose to do. Okay. So now, now you can see my, I've transferred this breadth to see, which is what I've done here. Now, you can as well see that the breadth of A is the breadth of, of C, which I can easily bring down here. So I'll, I'll use line to bring down the measurements. Oh, sweet. And now you, you can see my top view formed right here at the intersection. So, intersection, line. And uh, here, here we go. What, what the remaining details is to add right the the text which I'll be doing now. DT. Here is where we have our uh, A. A. And uh, this V is where we have our B. And this is where we have our C. And then we move this right in place. Okay, so as as we know, our drawing neatness and uh, the presentation of our drawing is very, very, very vital, very important. So I'll be using a uh, trim tool to make all my lines look uh, very beautiful. So I'll, I'll use a rectangle tool as my trim reference. I'll be using a rectangle tool as my trim reference. Okay.
And uh, good. Okay. So next, I want to do is to add a text to it. Right somewhere here, orthographic drawing of a cube. So let. So, DT. Orthographic drawing of a cube, and uh, we're done. What I would like to do next is I want to place this drawing so that it doesn't look interfering with my title block, and it can center on the title I just made. So move. Okay. Oh no. And uh, voila. Thank you so much for watching. So thank you so much for watching. Once again, this video is sponsored by Computer Made Easy Limited. You can get across to them for your AutoCAD drawing, 3D design, modeling, furniture works. Name it. You can chat them on WhatsApp, you can call them, text, you can visit their office. Thank you, and we've been blessed.